All right, YouTubers, we got another uh, basement project complete. Getting ready to get out of here. I got a bunch of work outside, but I figured I'd give you a quick video. Um, these were just regular basement steps. And I had these plaster walls, but then I put the other walls to cover the lolly columns. And then this. This right there, that's the duct work. That uh, it's all plywooded, exterior plywood and green board, so you gotta worry about no mold. If anybody's planning on covering duct work, do that. So you don't have issues down the line. This little shelf right here, this was another piece of duct work that went by. So instead of having them just a little bump out, I put a shelf. So she could put knickknacks or whatever. Um, yeah, all the lolly columns are covered up. They wanted to utilize their space because this is all just waste of space, a basement. So then you come out here, and this was the regular old basement. This is what I had to deal with. And um, this. Well, was a little idea he had. It's a lawyer, a customer of mine. He had a crawl space that he wanted me to turn into storage space. So I put this insulation board so um, any insulation don't fall on his head. And then we put this life proof. This is a life proof, lifetime uh, warranty flooring. And it's, um, it's a vinyl, it's a commercial vinyl. So you don't have to worry about moisture, mold, nothing. It's got uh, like five different layers and it has mold prohibitors and stuff like that. So if I'm out of breath, I just, I've been trying to get out of here. I'm trying to clean up and get out of here. Um, anybody plan on doing a basement, recommendations never go up against the wall. Um, this is only an inch here, but my wall is always at least an inch and a half away. Um, and then this airspace goes all the way through to the other side. So it's never sealed off. Um, if you seal it off, you're going to have mold and issues. So just don't do it. Don't nail fur strips. Don't do nothing. Just put a regular 2x4 uh, at least an inch and a half away from your wall regular insulation and be done with it <clears throat> all right and then he wanted a cedar closet so um obviously that was the duct work there and uh you get a little shelf here so i did all the cedar and um this stuff here you could buy this is a uh, eastern red cedar but they don't sell no trim nothing i had to go to a lumber yard that ripped me down five quarter by eight boards and then i made all my trim i made every piece of trim in here he didn't want no wire shelves he wanted everything cedar so uh he's got a little shelf up there over here this looks straight but it's on an angle that's for his shoes put his shoes on the bottom then another row on top. Now, um, on the baseboard, same thing, routed it, and then on the, even on the return, set on this way, it matches up. Everything's glued, nailed with stainless steel nails. That's another thing, anybody work with cedar, don't use regular nails. It'll leave black streaks. Spend the extra money and get stainless steel nails. Even this outside corner, I uh, routed all four sides and then dated the uh, inside to make my own outside corner. And then uh, he has this long bar here for his coats. Here's his shelves, just regular shelving. Um, same thing, these are all. Um, biscuit jointed together because anything over eight inches um it wants to cup all cedar cedar likes to cup so um 
I just ripped everything down, biscuit jointed them, then ran them through my planer, and then routed everything. So everything was handmade. Stainless steel screws in the shelving. And um, yeah, it came out good. The same flooring here, that life proof LED light. And then, um, you know, even all the the top trim right here. I just made I made my own top. Uh, it looks like looks like door stop, but I utilized everything because we had to buy like I said five quarter by eight boards. So um, I just bought a bunch of planks and made it up. All right, so. We got our little duct work here with our shelf. Um, nice, nice paint line with your trim. This matched the upstairs trim because it, it, it's like, I guess the house is like 80 years old. So the old school trim that had that little cap on it. And then the windows, um, all new basement windows, but uh, that's why it's so deep here, because of the um, distance away. I waterproofed this whole wall um, to tie into their existing. Another um, ductwork there, doing some heat. He wanted uh, some storage under the steps. So, uh, don't judge. He wanted to keep this open because he painted it when he moved in. So, I would have closed it, but he said he could fit more storage. So, and then, uh, such a small door area. What's going on with that? There it is. Such a small door, I would have had to cut too much, so on that little unicorn door or whatever. Now this ceiling, he wanted flat ceiling, no drop ceiling. So I had to move every wire and water line to get it flat. And then on this side of the of ductwork, we put this just drop ceiling. So his main room, you can't really see it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, this is all the shut-offs, shut-off for the outside faucets, uh, junction boxes, everything like that. So then you come through this door, and, uh, you know, you see this is the French drain that they had. And um, there was a uh, lolly columns here. Uh, here. See, here's the other side. So he said, and this way the airflow will always go through. And then um, there was lolly columns here, so I told him he might as well make a pantry for the wife. So we just put me in a nice little pantry closet so then has extra storage. And then, oh, look. <laughs> I got, this is like one of two bags of cedar. It's all dust from making all that stuff. So, yeah, it was, um, every door had to be cut. And then I had to put blank doors so I could redrill the handles, have them at the right height so they weren't low. He went with the brushed uh, bronze match upstairs this is just the rest of the basement this is the next project um, right here he wants big stainless steel sink here's the old sub pump and uh, we're gonna get on a little wash area here to wash the dog and stuff like that so and then this side here really didn't get finished because all the duck work and whatnot but all right that's it just want to do a quick video all right youtubers i'm out